Hey guys, it was Bambi TV. Guys, you're going to react to one of your suggestions. This is going to be a Christian girl went to church in hijab. What happened next will shock you. Guys, let's get straight into this. One Sabbath morning, I came to church with an ankle-length dark purple dress, accompanied by a simple tan-colored scarf covering my hair, which was my personal idea of what modesty was. But to others, it seemed way too extreme and offensive for church. Throughout the day, I endured comments from churchgoers, including children and adults. ISIS has arrived. You know, you look like that lady. I think she was Mahatma Gandhi's wife. Hey, salam alam. Ah, just kidding with you. All followed by playful laughs. That day, my grandmother received several complaints from sisters in the church. I even got into a huge verbal feud with one of the sisters in my church on my views on modesty. I always made sure to tell people that I was only doing this because the Bible said so. According to 1 Corinthians 11, That you remember me in all things, and keep the traditions just as I delivered them to you. Every woman who prays or prophecies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, for that is one and the same if her head was shaved. For this reason, a woman ought to have the symbol of authority on their head, because of the angels. After that encounter with my church, my confidence in following what the Holy Bible had taught me eventually ended up diminishing. Often, people said things like, Because times have changed, we don't practice in things like that. Jesus died for our sins, so we don't have to do that anymore. That was the old ways of Babylon, so we no longer need to do that. Wrap it another way and not look like a Muslim. It's not good to wear it like that. People will think you worship the Muslim God instead of Jesus. There are other ways to be modest. Why do you have to dress like that? You are beautiful just the way you are. Just take that scarf off already. Their comments didn't really affect me much, but it did make me wonder. As Christians, why are we not modeling what the Bible taught us when the Muslims and even Jews were doing it, and they don't even claim the Bible as their holy book? Eventually, months later, on October, I started wearing the hijab consistently. Whoa, guys, this is really, really short. Like, I when you hear the story, like, I don't hear the full story, but I kind of understand where she's coming from, and I will say she is right, because I believe I will keep on saying this on my channel that the vote to help me is a person I raise, you're not running to anyone, and if you believe if you believe and based on what the bible said the quran the torah what you believe in when you read it and he says cover your hair i believe i supposed to cover your hair and i believe the bible actually says cover your hair and some people are trying to say their hair is covering their head i i i once had a conversation with a lady and she she gave that as an excuse and sometimes they just tie a little scarf there and says but we kind of know that it's not the main thing, but people just do it because they believe no one is perfect and you can judge me. Leave me to answer to my God. So that is it. In this life we came to, we just can't judge anyone because it was written, don't judge in the Bible so you won't be judged. So you don't just judge. You just, the best thing you can do is tell the person, this isn't proper. You're supposed to dress like this. Any person choose not to, like it's their own cup of tea guys like i believe that everyone in this life have their own decision to make and you making yours your decision will be different from mine and for the fact that you are making the wrong decision or i'm making the wrong decision does not mean i will make heaven or does not mean i does it remember okay you don't believe in the story but when jesus was on the cross and it's two teeth were hanged beside him. Then one of them said, Remember me in paradise. And Jesus said, You'll be with me in paradise. Like, even if that guy was a thief, but just him acknowledging the fact that Jesus was the Son of God, Jesus actually told him that you'll be with me in paradise. You see, that kind of, I feel you don't really have to be perfect to make heaven. You need grace and you need to walk towards it. You need to be honest. Like, I believe 
you can't go to heaven being perfect. You, you no one is perfect, but you need things. Like you need things. You need to be a good person for you to actually make heaven. Well, guys, then when you think about this video, you should like, share, subscribe to my channel. Please comment me if I'm wrong. Please leave your comment in my comment section, guys. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.